Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. As someone who is obsessed with the 70s, I was so excited to do this challenge and I couldn't wait to show you guys my recreation of a look that was inspired by the hippie movement from the 70s. So I just cannot wait for you guys to see this video. I hope you enjoy it and look forward to the end for ways to vote for me in the next face award. Okay, now let's get started. So of course the first thing I'm gonna do is clear off my face with my makeup cleansing wipes just to get off any dirt or old makeup that doesn't need to be there. Then of course you guys know my skin is so dry so I have to use my Complexion Perfecting Hydrator. And both of these products are from Proactive. Now this next product is a new favorite. It's the NYX Honey Do Me Up and it's a gel primer. So I'm just gonna rub that all into my face. Now you know I have to use concealer. Next is the Mineral Stick Foundation and I had never tried it before so I might be using it completely wrong. I have no clue. I just tried to have some fun with it. And of course you know how in love I am with my Beauty Blender now. But I guess I was using it wrong in my last video. Oops. Now would it really be my video without some bronzer? Thumbs up if you do the fish face. Now I'm not sure why but in this video I use like three different illuminators. The first is narcissistic, the second is magnetic, and then the third is ritualistic. Yeah, not sure why I felt the need to use all three. <laughs> Next, I added the Sun Kissed Radiant Finishing Powder and finished it off with the HD Studio Finishing Powder. But my face isn't done yet. Gotta attack myself with some Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Next is my eyebrows and I use the NYX Eyebrow Marker in Deep. And I use that to just fill in my eyebrows. I swear these things are like a gift from God. Then I top it off with the eyebrow cake powder. I feel like this just gives it a more natural look. Now we're getting somewhere. Time to prime them eyes. Now it's time for my jumbo eye pencil and milk. And I'm just gonna use that all over my lid. Once I get it on my lid, I'm gonna blend it in to make sure that it stays. Now I'm gonna pat my Diamond Lust eyeshadow on top of what I just did. Next is my Jumbo Eye Pencil and Ice Mocha, and I'm gonna use that in my crease. This is almost like a prep for the next step that I'm gonna do. What you're gonna to wanna to do is use this in the crease and wing it out at the end. Then I'm just gonna take a blending brush and blend it in a little bit. Back to the Milk Eye Pencil, we're gonna to wanna to use that in our waterline. I'm gonna bring that up to the wing that I just made. Now this part always scares me. It's the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. And you're just gonna go over what you did with the Ice Mocha Pencil. This look was done so much in the 60s and 70s and there are so many different variations and I just love how it looks. Now don't forget to blend. Now I'm going to take an eyeshadow in the color Raven and I'm just going to blend that into my crease as well. And then I'm going to use Diamond Lust again as a highlighter. 
We're getting to the end, we're getting there. Next is the NYX Two Timer Eyeliner. And I'm gonna use this to draw a line under the line that I used with the Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil. Then I'm gonna add a thin line up top and wing it out. Next, I gotta curl them lashes. Followed by some mascara, and in this video, I'm using the XXL Lush Lashes Mascara. I always look so weird when I'm doing this. Next up is the lips and I'm using my lip liner in nude pink. I feel like all the models I've looked at from the 70s had full lips so I really wanted to try and achieve that look. Next is one of my macaroon lippies in rose and I really love this color. It's so flower power. Next, I'm getting the Macaroon Lippy and Citrin, and I'm just gonna put some on my fingers and dab it onto my lip, right in the center. To get the waves, I use my GHD Clips. I also use two Style Sexy Hair Products, 450 Degree Protect and Spray Clay. To add a little extra something to this look, I got my Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk again, and then I just used it to create a dot pattern above one eyebrow and under one eye. I just love how it turned out and it seems so 70s to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love you guys. Be sure to come back for more videos and vote for me in the NYX Face Awards. Remember, three times a day for the next four days. You can find the link below. I love you guys. Bye.